Hey guys, it's Smokey here. <laughs> just, just kidding. I'm not doing a uh, a parody uh, video uh, like has been so popular lately. Uh, but, uh, but much like Smokey, this um, uh, device review is on location in Palm Coast, Florida, and uh, there it, there's a palm tree. So uh, just so you know, I'm I'm not lying. I'm here at our uh, little resort in uh, in Florida. But anyway, I'm not here to talk about Florida. I'm here to talk about my new device, the GLV2 from www.greatlakesvapor.com. Um, I was in the market for a oh, sorry, for a higher voltage uh, device that um, I, I needed something sturdy for for my pocket at work. I work outside. I wanted to make sure it's something that. You know, if it falls out of my pocket and I step on it, it's not going to be ruined for the day or ruined at all, you know. Um, so I was looking at some of the 5-volt devices out there. Uh, oh, that's another thing. I also wanted 5 volts because I've been vaping 6 volts and it's just a little too much. I wanted just a little less and, and 5 volts has been perfect. Um, so, you know, I was comparing a bunch of the other things out there, the, like two battery mods. And this just looked, I like the design of it. Uh, because the way the atomizer is, that kind of guards stuff against laying on top of the button and setting this off in your pocket. Um, I love my ego, but the battery goes off in my pocket all the time because of the switch. So I needed something that didn't do that. Um, so from looking at it, without touching it, I could see that that was the way this design worked. Um, also, the button is very solid, and it's, it's a clicky button. Um, Jay, the guy who makes this, says that uh, the lifespan of the button is, you know, a couple million clicks. So, I mean, obviously it's going to last a very long time. And it's just a solid button. You have to want to press this button. Um, you know, you would really have to have something wedged up against the button in your pocket good to make it go off. Um, so that's great. Button-wise, it's terrific. Um, the tube, everything's solid. Nothing's shaking or rattling around in there. It's, it's just a really solid, solid Two, you know, um, the electronics on the inside. Uh, first off, it uses two uh, protected batteries. These are ICR 123A 880 Ma 3.7 volt batteries, and it uses two of those. And it has a resistor in the cap that um, takes it down to five volts. Now, I've heard some people say a regulator is better than a resistor or whatever. I, I don't really know the technical part of that. Uh, if you can see down in there, it's all. Um, he's got this red like silicone type of stuff that's that's uh, coating everything so if anything leaks down in there it's not gonna hurt anything um, that's the same with down under it, it comes with a 510 connection and under that 510 connection there's um, the same kind of sealant stuff um, it, it's just it's really a solid device and you can get a 3.7 volt um, model and it's it's shorter i think there's also a 3.7 slash 6 volt model that is basically the same thing as this it just has a different cap that doesn't have a resistor um so you know if you like the options of having that you can just get a different top cap or, or whatever um so you know sturdy pocket friendly just perfect for me um it hits great Um, now, I know people have said a regulator is better than a resistor for, you know, the drop off of the, the power or whatever. I get consistent flavor, vapor, and throat hit for a couple days on a charge, a full charge of these batteries. And I don't ever even notice a drop off. I've never killed the batteries. I just charge it after two days. Um, so that's just terrific. Downfall. And I don't know if this is with every other GLV, but I've, I've heard some people say that they've had the problem too. Um, the, the the well, I guess you want to call it, where the c connection is, is a hair too deep for 510 cartomizers. And my whole plan was to use 510 cartomizers on here, so I just, I don't have to carry around juice, I just fill up a cartomizer in the morning, stick it on, put it in my pocket, and I'm good to go until I get home. When I just take a stock 510 cartomizer, and I've tried it from a couple different companies, and screw it in there, it doesn't fire, it doesn't make the connection. Atomizers work fine, but um, what I had to do to the cartomizers, and I, I ruined a couple uh, doing this, is I had to get some tweezers and pull that center pin out of it. Um, like, not the part with the threads, but the part in between that. 
um, and pull it out just a little. And then it made the connection, and it's fine. But I ruined a couple cardamizers, and it's not something I want to do every time I put a new cardamizer in, you know. I, I want to just be able to just fill some of and stick it in there. Um, so you can see, this one's working fine. Um, and hopefully it'll last a little while. But there's, I, I will remedy this problem. Uh, I emailed Jay, and he's got great customer support. I mean, he emails me back really quick and he sends you his number and he's like, you know, I want you to call me if, if you have any problems or whatever. So that's terrific. Um, and he said that um, if I send the cap back to him, he'll fix it for free and send it back, uh, which is terrific because I didn't buy this from him. I, I bought this off of uh, Sky Camel on ECF. Um, it was about the same price, but he was selling it with the batteries. And I just wanted to make sure I had the right batteries with it. Um, but yeah, Jay is still standing behind his product, and, and that, that's terrific. Uh, a lot of companies would say, you know, like, well, you didn't buy it from me, too bad, there's no warranty, you know. Uh, but that's great that he's standing behind it. Um, the other thing I can do, uh, which I ordered the adapters, I'm going to try it, is if you take a 510 to 901 adapter, and then screw a 901 to 510 adapter onto that, and then screw that in there, it's going to lengthen, you know, the height of your cardamizer on here. Um, but it'll make the connection and then it'll probably also help with getting juice down in there but um so i'm going to try that before i send it back but if that doesn't work i'll just send it back to jay and and then it'll be fine uh, like i said i don't know if that's a problem with all the glv2s or what i'm not real sure um i just it's the problem i've had with this one um but i'm i'm not worried about it i know it'll get fixed and i'll have a follow-up video to to let you know um what's going on with that um, but other than that problem with the cardamizers, this is just a terrific device. I think it looks cool. It feels great. Um, it's just really comfortable and like ergonomic the way you know you hit it. Um, the button is amazing, just like everybody else said. I mean, it's the best button I've had on any uh, mod that I've tried. Very pocket friendly, very sturdy, and just a cool looking device. Uh, I'm super happy with it, and I highly recommend the GLV2 from uh, GreatLakesVapor.com. Um, any questions or comments or anything else you want me to cover uh, in the follow-up video, um, either leave a comment on here or email me at AllAboutTheVapor at gmail.com. You can also uh, follow me on Twitter, uh, AllAboutTheVapor without an O, or watch my show on Sunday nights at ElixirTV.com. On, uh, it's Sunday nights at 11 p.m. Eastern. So uh, plenty of ways to get a hold of me. And until the follow-up, we'll see you next time.